Hello friends, this video on Vector Algebra Part 26 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched Part 1 to Part 25. Now let's take some another view. So we have uh, understood scalar product and vector products by a log. We had this log and then we told that somebody is uh, pushing this and we, we saw work done. There we have force and R vector. Then we found that we hook this with some nail and then when you apply force, it rotates, there is no work done but there is a torque and torque is a vector and then we saw that no, we had uh, two kind of products required for uh, vectors, one which gives a scalar output, the other gives a vector output. Now this is another view of dot product and cross product. So again this is also this is a memory tip kind of stuff, so scalar product is what people say is degree of togetherness and vector is what they say is degree of separation. That means, so let's suppose there are two vectors A and B and let theta be the angle between them. Now when I say scalar is a degree of togetherness, that means I say if you see A dot B is nothing but magnitude of A magnitude of B into cos theta. This guy is maximum when theta is equal to 0, when they are very close, right? This guy is 0 when theta is pi by 2, that means they are perpendicular, this thing becomes 0. This becomes minimum that is negative, this becomes minimum or negative when theta is pi, they are totally separated. Correct. So if they are, if I have vector A here and vector B here in both same A and B, I get the maximum product. If they are like this A and B, I get 0 as the product. If A is here and B is here, then what you get is a negative value. Correct. So that means I am talking about togetherness. If they are together, if A and B are together, you get more out. So, Scalar product is degree of togetherness, correct? If you are, they are together, you get more value or more uh, value as the product. If they are not together, they are perpendicular, you get less value, like that. When you talk about vector product, A cross B, if you see, is nothing but A, B, sine theta and some direction. In this case, if you see, this guy is maximum when theta is pi by So when they are separated, when they are separated by 90 degree, this guy is maximum, right? When theta is zero, this guy is zero, correct? So what you see here is, you can say that vector product is degree of separation. If they are separated, you get good value. If they are together, you have A, you have B in the same, you get zero. If they are separated, you get more value. So this is just another view or you can see a memory tip to remember. The scalar and vector product. Scalar is degree of togetherness, how close they are, right? And vector is degree of separation, how apart there or how perpendicular there. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.